Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip. In today's video, we're going to look at using a password management software. Check it out. And of course, if you are new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We do a lot of how-to videos, tutorial videos, and videos just like this one. Hey everyone, welcome back to the computer. So the first steps that we're going to want to take today is open up your browser of choice. What I mean by that is your Google Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, Edge, Safari. LastPass has an extension for most of those. So what you'll want to do, again, open it up. I'm going to use Chrome in this case, and I'm going to go ahead and navigate over to lastpass.com. This will take you directly to their website, which will give you some information here. You can get a LastPass free account. You do have limited access or limited spots for uh, passwords on a free account, but you can upgrade to a premium for just $1 a month or one buck a month. Not too shabby. If you want to go premium, just come down here, click on go premium. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and get the LastPass for free. If you left click on that, it's going to automatically detect which browser that you're using. And of course, you will want to click add extension. The extension, it is what is used to scan websites. If you have data or passwords filled out for that information, it'll make it very easy to manage and fill in that information without most of the time without actually having to type it into the actual um, uh, website itself. So once you've done that, go ahead and click add extension. What that's going to do is it's going to add an extension up here in the top right hand corner. If it is gray, that means you need to log in and or create an account. To do that, left click on it. It'll then give you the option. I do have an account, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep my information filled in here and the master password and click log in. If you do not, you will need to go through, click create an account, follow the steps to create that account. Uh, if it is a public computer, you will want to make sure that the email and the password boxes are unchecked. If that is the case, I would not recommend even putting a LastPass um, extension on a public computer just to, just to increase the level of security. If this is your own computer, of course, go ahead and select remember email and remember password at your disposal or if you'd like to, if you want it to remember that information because your master password is the one password that you will need to remember. If you forget your master password, you do have some recovery options. If all else fails, it will you will have to delete the account and recreate it. So if you have to remember one password and one password only, make sure that it is your master password if you are using the LastPass program. Once you've got that information filled in there, go ahead and click on login. You will notice the extension up here in the top right hand corner will turn red. That means you are logged into your account and you're ready to go. If you left click on it one more time, you will then have a few different options. As you can see, you can click open my vault. You can go to different sites that you've had. You can look at your secure notes. You can for, uh, form fill. So if you have different forms that you use on a regular basis, you can actually go in there and autofill everything or most things to make things very super, super easy and super efficient. And then of course, if you do have a hard time trying to come up with a password, it does have a generate secure password option. And then of course you can go into more options, preferences, admin console, anything that you want to get into your settings, such as recovery options, you can go into these settings and get that changed. So for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and just give you a base overview of the account. I'm gonna click open my vault. What that's going to do, as you can see, is it's going to break everything down. Now, LastPass is really good about automatically filling in or um, categorizing what, where your passwords are saved, whether it's finance or um, development or emails, things like that. It will auto do those, but if you want to create custom folders and make it your own, you can come down here into the bottom right corner, hover over the little plus sign right there. You can see you can add a folder, you can share an item, you can add a secure note, and then of course add a site as well. So if you have somebody that needs a password and you don't want it to give it, you don't want to give it to them over, you know, like a Facebook messenger or over a text message, if they have a LastPass account, you can click share item, type in their email address that they use for their LastPass account, and it will send that information over and they can accept it that way. It's more secure because it is encrypted. So um, as you can see, I've gone through and I've created custom sites on here and categorized everything to where I want them. You can look over here on the left-hand side. You've got your contacts, you've got your notes, uh, different shares that you have. And then of course you do have a little shield right here that says 30, well, in this case it says 30%, but this will actually show you uh, what your your level of security is. You can click on that and do a security challenge and it will give you information to say, okay, you're great, you're secure here, but you could be lacking a little bit of security here and it will help you to go through and figure that out. Now, if you go to different websites that you know you have information saved, you'll actually notice next to the password or even the username, there'll be three little dots. 
What that means is if you click on that little icon, it will usually autofill the password or matching information for that account. Or if it does show up and it shows up gray, it will say, hey, I'm sorry that there is no, uh, there's no data for this particular website. So that's just a quick overview. Once again, go through, go download it, try it out, see if you like it. And then of course, you'll always want to remember the master password on that. But that's just a quick overview on how to use a LastPass manager. And of course, thank you so much for watching that tech tip. Using a password manager like LastPass is a great way to keep your password secure, but the most secure password is one that you can remember. So be sure to leave any kind of comments and feedback in the comment section below the video. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and we will see you next time.